Okay, hello dear friends. This one, um, I will paint this cloud. So, this couple of days, I have, uh, every time I look for, when I see the cloud, I took a picture and see if I can paint it. And just uh, today I received one friend share a photo. He put on, on, on Facebook, he put a, a picture of, uh, of the cloud. I was thinking, how about we paint this cloud? So let's get start. So we make it a little bit smaller. We choose the blue color. And uh, how about we choose the totally the tone of blue, light blue, medium blue, dark blue, different kind of blue. The very first we will put some of this blue. How about that? And we use uh, um, the spray. Use the airbrush and very large, very open, not so strong. So. Very large. This is the first layer. We work on the first layer. And then we will use a little bit darker color. How about this one? Okay. So here and there we put some color and this one, three colors, so it's not very even and we do not want to make it too even, right? And the cloud here and there, let's take a look at our cloud. So this is roughly the sky, the, the, the upper part is darker, so we can make it a little bit even darker. Here and there. And we will put, oh, oh, we will put a cloud here and there. Oh, oh, sorry. A cluster of black cloud, we can use brush with uh, texture, white cloud, we will use white color of cloud and uh, use the texture, the brush, texture splash, we will use this splatter, okay, and uh, that's too small. We want to make it much bigger the size. Okay, let's see how. Oh, uh oh, this one. How about we put on a new layer? So we add a new layer, and on this layer we work on this. So cloud here, cloud here, cloud here. And the place with white, more white, must be the place with more clouds, right? So here and there, more cloud. So this is roughly the cloud, but the, this cloud, if we look close, they are very, um, they are not natural, right? We need to smear it a little bit. How do we smear it? We choose the smear tool. So there is a tool for just for smearing. Let's see which one we use. We can see the smudge, smudge into this texture, smudge into a much more wider texture, a smudge into almost no change, and smudge into almost all gray. So we first use let it much, much, much more smudge here and there. Don't worry if the color does not come out good. Don't worry. It takes time and uh, as painting, you, you need to just keep on working with it. Not very much you can cheat around. It's a, it's a practice. 
and I think I can use this time to do a blah 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 because this job has become quite tedious. One friend sent me a message and said, uh, um, what do you do when you cannot find new ideas in painting? This happens to us all the time. Nothing strange, nothing, um, nothing to be afraid of. Now we use a splash, another kind of splash. We will not smudge, but we will use a we add some more white color. How about with some white color? Splash, splatter. Okay, we use this texture, not splash, but texture. White color. Uh -oh, no, we will use, because we are painting on this one, we will need to put splatter again. Splatter, okay. We change a different texture of splatter. How about this one? Okay. Dun, da, 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 da. Don't worry if it does not come out like what you plan to. And since we are new, there are a lot of time for if you have already know this uh, software or how to paint, you may find this is totally a waste of time. Why don't you go the shortcut at the very beginning? Because we are new, we don't know how to find into the shortcut, how to find the shortcut. It takes time and takes practice. And we are learning. This is a part of the fun of doing something new. So keep on doing. If this video proved to be um, uh, a not uh, uh, educational for you, I apologize. And uh, and there is not very much I can do about because this is my level. This is my skill level. I'm limited to here. Okay, some place more white, 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 white. I'm sorry for the noise. After the white, we will smear it again. It takes so much time, I'm so tedious, but uh, not very much. We can do about. not what I want. So the bottom is a little bit dark and uh, gosh, how come I cannot just get it right? And uh, we put some more white color. How about we use uh, eraser, right? Let's use some of the eraser, see what we can get. Use different tools, right?
Okay, now we add some more. Gosh, it's quite interesting actually. I like it. Now we will add some more whiter color. It's a little bit. We use um, spray. Some white. Make it thinner. Make the spray thinner. How about we put some different layer of white, uh, 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 of blue, okay, so we spray some different color, we spray some of these. Now we will use eraser to erase a little bit. The eraser is a little bit too large. Make it small. You need some more of white. Some more white. Spray. I think I will stop here because there is no end how much we can do, right? And um, I think opacity much. Voila. Okay, this is the cloud as far as, as much as we can do. If you find this video is totally a waste of your time, I'm 
I apologize. If you find it is uh, not that bad, then I am very, very, very happy. Yeah, see this. Now I'm walking on the the lower level, lower layer. So it actually brings the the background, the cloud more dark, interesting, okay. even dark. Okay. The higher the sky, the darker. Oh, that's actually quite good. Okay, it's a bit too dark. You cannot see. Maybe because of the light is not the right direction. But anyway, you can see the sky like this. 